Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, so, wanted to give you a quick walk around and maybe a review uh, if I get around to it, <laughs> depending on how long this video is. You probably know if I got around to it or not. Of this A220, this is a 2020 uh, model of the A220. I've got this as a loaner car from the good folks over at Fletcher Jones. And I won't tell you what it's a loaner for just yet because you haven't seen the uh, the other car, uh, but wanted to talk to you about this. So this this car, the A220, I didn't even know this existed until today. So of course it's going to be another one of my very uninformed and ignorant reviews. But <laughs> um, it apparently starts at about thirty three, thirty two, eight eight hundred, uh, so thirty three thousand dollars essentially. Um, I don't know what you call this class, to be honest. It's a four-door sedan, obviously, and I don't really know if this fits into a, like a luxury sedan category or like a mid-size. That's really what it is. It's not a very large sedan. It's not compact, so it'd probably be mid-size. Um, not a huge fan of the look, honestly. It doesn't. It's not bad, but I think the, my problem with it is is the shape of the hood or the bonnet, depending on where you're from. And then I also, I've never really been a fan of the, the far reaching nose on uh, some of these Mercedes models. And I don't really, I can't really ever make up my mind if they're starting to do away with this or, uh, or adopting it even more. And Mercedes has got so many different models in its lineup right now. I heard a rumor recently that they were gonna start reducing that, um, but I don't know if it's true or not, but, um, Anyway, what I want to show you what I'm really impressed by, and I'm sure many of you already know this, the interior of this car, which I'm sure is very well optioned, I don't have the option sheet, so that's really a, a shame, but it is a really nice place in here. This is a very nice space. So I'm going to go for a quick drive right now, and I'm not sure if I'll take you with me, because um, I don't really have a good camera mount. Um, well, maybe I can get one. All right, guys, we finally got some camera action here. Uh, so let me turn off this hazard. Um, hopefully my voice is quality is clear. I got the AC on. It's like 100 out. Uh, well, 96 out. Uh, so I hope you forgive that. Um, anyway, I want to talk to you quickly about the interior. This one does have the premium package, right? But this is the base model of of the A220. This thing comes in three configurations, okay? And this one, and I believe the next one too, they both have 188 horsepower out of a four-cylinder engine, um, which is really not a lot of power these days. Uh, but it's enough for your daily driving. But what's incredible is that same two-liter um, turbo, uh, and I, this is a turbo powered engine so most a lot of these four cylinders these days uh, do a turbo to kind of get the power up to 188 or whatever uh, but the AMG version of this car which is called the A35 I believe uh, that thing <laughs> can, so this goes 0 to 60 in 7.1 seconds which is pretty good you know whatever um, but the AMG version of this car zero to 16 4.7 with the same motor how that well i don't know if it's the same exact motor but it is a 2.0 liter turbo still uh, this one starts at 38 32,800 and actually uh this premium pack um it's only a 2200 dollars option and i don't see it having a lot more than that it's got the mb tex interior and um and I really like the MB Techs. I super, super like all of this. This is super nice material up here. And it also has uh, the aluminum uh, trim, uh, which I highly recommend. It's beautiful. You have to see it in person. Uh, and then you got this piano black going on here, which I'm normally not a fan of, but in this case, it doesn't seem to really take prints too badly, uh, fingerprints too badly. Now, um, and my hands are not necessarily all that clean. Uh, so I gotta say, it's really, really nice. Uh, this is a, a relatively new car. Um, and, uh, you know, um, but the most impressive thing about this, guys, is these displays. If you're gonna get this car, 
you have to get the premium pack because it's just so nice. I mean, what you get with being able to make, uh, you know, uh, you got a touch screen, you can uh, move things around with this touch sensitive screen button, which is really nice. But you also have down here, you've got this, which can also kind of do, uh, do all the same actions. And again, having touch screen is always great anyway, right? So you can kind of get your media or whatever. So um, I, I am really loving this. So like, look at that, how cool is that? Um, so, and the graphics, look, I don't know if you can see on this screen, look how, how grand everything is. And I can, I can change these displays uh, whichever way I want. Um, so let's see. Uh, I can essentially uh, make uh, the left side there. Um, let's go ahead and make the left side without crashing. Uh, there we go. So now I got my route schedule in there and I got my music. I've got my speedometer and uh, a clock on novel. Um, some trip meters and whatnot. So if I then go on this other side, I can switch back and forth between the tachometer. Um, this I believe is is the kind of that radar powered um, distance control dealio. Uh, I forget what they call that. And this I think is uh, the navigation. I haven't really used it. I don't know if this car is uh, equipped with that. I know that's a ex optional extra. This is my uh, eco display. Um, so again, I'm sure Doug DeMiro has done a really great job. You could probably go look at his video and, and get an idea of that. But the point of this video is like how insanely nice the interior of this car is. So my brother-in-law, who usually disagrees with me on cars, he came over and before seeing it, I was telling him, man, you gotta see this car. It's so impressively nice inside. And, uh, and right away he was like, oh, sh come on, a A220, there's no way that's nice. I'm like, man, you're gonna be amazed. He's like, sure. We go out to the garage and he takes it for a drive and he's like, man, I can't believe how nice the interior of this car is. This is way over the top nice. Um, so Mercedes really knocked it out of the park. So I'm just gonna pull over here and, and kind of uh, revel in the beauty of the interior. Let me see if I can disconnect you and show you around a little bit. I got a little car seat back there. Uh, the back seat, plenty of room for a grown adult, six foot adult sitting in the back, knees don't touch, plenty of headroom. Uh, again, really impressive. Um, here, I'll mount you a little closer so you can see what's going on. Um, this little touchpad you got down here, pretty nice. Um, you got your drive modes, volume button. This this kind of goes back to the old like old school CL days where you had this going on, but yeah, you used to have a wheel and this is a little trackpad. I personally really, I'm starting to just having driven this car for just today, uh, I'm liking these steering wheel buttons more than anything. And I think I would probably get used to these a lot quicker than anything else. Um, and you also have a dedicated volume button and a dedicated uh, cruise control kind of setting button, which is nice to have. Uh, I hate some car companies, which I go on name, that are trying to eliminate every button from, uh, from the car. And I don't feel like that's what most consumers want. I, I like having dedicated buttons for air conditioning and heating controls um because it's just a lot quicker to get to i mean you know i don't want to have to focus on a screen for you know several seconds to find the thing that i want i want my muscle memory to develop over time so i can just hit the thing that i know i'm going to hit um this one has heated seats it has um you know really nice adjustability in the seats uh it also has a uh, lumbar support kind of pump in there uh it's nothing too fancy honestly i'm kind of playing with it right now i'm not even going to bother showing it to you but it does have uh, this this little part here that goes back and forth and that's kind of a nice nice future honestly for um uh Taller drivers, especially, you know, when you got longer legs and on long trips, you, you normally get uh, that pressure building up behind your leg. So um, 
uh, I am I'm very impressed with all the interior features of, of this relatively stock and uh, I thought there was a lot of options here but when I look at it and I look online um, it seems like it's just a premium package in here and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong if you're seeing something that's additional uh, let me know um, let's uh, let's take a quick walk outside so you can see it in daylight it's not really a looker you know um, I don't think that's special to look at, to me anyway, especially in this color. I don't think this color is a really great color to get. It's almost like a brown color. Um, but, you know, definitely not an ugly car. Uh, just, uh, I think the C-Class looks better. Um, that's just my opinion. Uh, plenty of room in the trunk. Let's take a look at that. This car does also come in the formatic version, which um, I think is cool if you live in a place where you need formatic four-wheel drive. Um, back seat, back seat's also quite nice. Look at the finishes on these things. It's like an aluminum feel finish, but I'm sure it's plastic. And, uh, but it looks super nice. Uh, these big cup holders in the doors and door pockets, really like those. Um, they've just, they, they've done a pretty well thought out thing here and at 32,800 and then let's say you add another 2,200 and this option and maybe another thousand. So now you're at 35,000 and that's just MSRP. I know there's like a lot of great deals going on out there right now. Probably some awesome lease deals. This is a great, great option. Um, I'm not going to compare it to other cars. Every time I do that whoever I name y'all get really pissed at me and you tear into me about it whatever um it is it, you know what would be a direct comparison for this you tell me uh you give me your opinion how's that because I've got my opinion <laughs> but you tell me what you think is a uh, direct competitor to the A220 at this price range, especially 32,800. I'm sure there's some really cool cars out there, but I really think Mercedes got this right. I don't know who they're going after. It looks to me like the younger crowd, right? Your 20s and 30s, you're, this is probably what you're gonna be into. Uh, I'm into it, hell, and I'm older than that. I, I would love to have this in my car. I do not have this in my car, or any of my cars for that matter. Um, and uh, my, you know, um, would be really cool. Uh, I think. Uh, I think you know. It, it, it's funny the way they they laid out these screens. The two screens that are basically just sitting like two tablets side by side like this. I don't think it was all that intuitive to all of us thinking that this would work that work out as well as it has. But it's this super thin profile back here. There's actually room to insert insert your hand back here. Um, but it works really, really well. There's, I haven't found it in a configuration where uh, exterior light is uh, is blinding this display at all. Uh, that's been really nice. So um, for what it's worth, I really like this. So let's go ahead and send it real quick. Woo! Um, not that impressive power-wise. I mean, come on, it's 188 horsepower. What do you want? What do you want? 188 horsepower. It's pretty good for 188 horsepower. It does it does feel like 188 horsepower. Uh, unlike some other cars, right, that are like 340 horsepower, but you get in there and it only feels like 240 horsepower. This this really feels like a this. If I already guess what 188 feels like, this is pretty much what it feels like. Yeah, like a four-cylinder engine kind of struggling to make you know things happen but accomplishing it it gets up to freeway speeds fast enough for me I don't ever feel like I'm in you know some weird danger the brakes are surprisingly powerful um, like really really powerful but they have a really good luxurious feel to them and by the way this car is very quiet on the inside uh, you're probably picking up a lot of this air conditioning noise but you don't hear a lot of outside noise there's some tire noise 
right? But uh, that's what you're gonna get with a, a entry level car. They're not gonna put the nicest tires on this thing because that would be a substantial part of the cost of the car then. Uh, so I, I feel like um, they really nailed the, the interior of this car. Uh, and if you like the looks of it, then you've got a really great package here. Tell me what you think. Um, if you own one of these, tell me tell me what that's like. I mean, did you do you uh, is it is it comfortable on long drives? The seats feel pretty comfortable to me, but they don't feel like they offer a ton of support. Um, and I would love to hear what that A35 or whatever the AMG performance version of this car is. I would love to hear what that feels like, and whether or not that 4.70 to 60 is really all it's cracked up to be. Is it really that fast? Uh, I mean, how, how do you get that out of a four cylinder, man? That's pretty impressive. Uh, for a car as heavy as this, I mean, you know, uh, that is very impressive. Uh, we're back here where we started. Um, so um, anyway, guys, video took a lot longer than I thought, but uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Uh, click uh, like and subscribe if you uh, felt like you enjoyed the video. And if not, uh, let me know why. Uh, look forward to seeing you again on the next one and uh, tune in uh, in a couple of weeks I will do a uh, video of the car that I did get that's at Fletcher right now getting a little bit of work done uh, something that was planned uh, and uh, give uh, you know if, if you're following me here you, you'll get a little notification on that I think you're really really gonna like that car it's it, it's an absolute legend within the brand um, so you know you kind of have some ideas now what it is and uh, I can't wait to show it to you I am um, I'm, um, it's been something I've always wanted to get and I got it recently and I'm gonna enjoy it for a little while before I move on to the next thing so uh, Thanks guys for uh, for watching and see you next time.